The timing and direction of Russia's new major offensive in Ukraine have been announced. Given the pace of forming new units and troop deployment, the Russian Federation may organize a new offensive operation in August or September, says the military and political analyst of the Information Resistance Group of Ukraine, Alexander Kovalenko, according to RBC Ukraine. As Kovalenko explained, for Russia to organize a new offensive, it needs to compensate for the losses it suffered during the past year and since the beginning of this year during the Avdiivka offensive campaign. Currently, the enemy is not advancing as intensively along the front line as before, but they still try to do so. During the summer, they will form new units, complete those that are not yet formed, and around the second half of this year, they may indeed begin offensive operations. Russia's objectives on the front remain the same, complete capture of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. The next priority, in case of advancement in Donbass, is the expansion of the occupation to the Zaporizhia region, located on the left bank of the Dnipro River. According to the first scenario, Russia's new operations could unfold towards the slovyansk kramatorsk agglomeration. For this purpose, the enemy needs to intensify its actions in Lyman, Siversk, and Bakhmut directions. Another variant of their actions involves another attempt to capture Kurakov and Vuladar. According to Kovalenko, the terrorists need to control the 0532 road, which is a logistical artery from Marienka to Volodar. The enemy is currently trying to create conditions for cutting this logistical artery in the Novomykhailivka area. They are also pushing towards Pobeda and Vodian from Solodki. In fact, they are creating conditions to push towards Vuladar, not only from the south, but also from the north, says Kovalenko. He also believes that the enemy may try to re-intensify offensive actions in the Kupiansk area in the second half of the year. A new offensive on Kiev, which some Western media predict, currently seems highly unlikely. For Moscow to organize such an operation, they would need to accumulate no less than 100,000 troops along the Kyiv region, particularly from the north on the territory of Belarus. To deploy such a force, conduct its deployment, combat coordination and so forth, it would take at least three to four months and this cannot go unnoticed by Ukraine's special services. Currently, according to RBC Ukraine, no such activity is observed in the north. The Institute for the Study of War reports Russia may start a large-scale offensive in the Donetsk direction at the end of spring or the beginning of summer. At the same time, it says the enemy will probably be able to start a coordinated large-scale offensive operation only in one operational direction due to the limitation of their human resources and planning. There was a drone attack on the cities of Yelabuga and Niznikams of the Tatarstan Republic of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. The kamikaze drones, which are said to belong to Ukraine, hit the Yelazneft product oil refinery in Yelabuki and Taniko oil refineries in Nejnokams. As a result of the blows, an explosion and fire occurred. At the same time, an attack was made on the Alabuji Polytex plant and dormitory located in the Alabuji Special Economic Zone located in Yelabuji. It is said that Shahid drones are produced at the plant. It is said that although the factories were damaged as a result of the attack, the production process did not stop. Local authorities say there are casualties. Thank you.